Same idea. Um, I think the main important thing, guys, is just draw it. Like when you guys took your quiz, I said just draw a triangle. Anything, just give me something. So we have 2, negative 1. That's going to be C. And then we have negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be D. Now, obviously, we want to find this length here again. But again, what we can do is, though, again, if we create a right triangle, we could know we could use our Pythagorean theorem, right? So then we see we have this length and that length. Now, the nice thing about drawing the picture is the nice thing about drawing the picture is we can just count the intervals. Agreed? We actually literally don't need to do any math. We can just count. But again, what if these were like all fractions? What were these were like two thirds and one fourth and three fifths and like six, five sevenths? We wouldn't want to be counting, right? Or even looking at the graph. So we'd want to make sure we understand an algebraic approach. So let me just kind of explain this a little bit so we can get into this. So this is a coordinate point, and that is a coordinate point. Does anybody remember how we differentiate our coordinate points? One way we do, subscripts, right? We can call this point one, and we can call this point two. It doesn't matter which one you call point one, point two. You can switch it up if you want to. But the understanding is, I'm counting here. Or another way to be able to figure out that distance is just to take x2 minus x1, right? To subtract this, take this value, subtract it from that. That's going to give you that distance. Do you guys agree? And then here, take y2, y2 minus y1. So you could count, or without graphing, you could just subtract y2 minus 1. And that's going to give you that length as well. Take this value, subtract it from that value, is going to give you that distance. Agreed? So if this is the distance, then we can say that distance equals, distance squared equals um, x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. And really, instead of squaring, we'd just want to take the square root. And then what do you know? There's the distance formula. Right? Now we can just plug in our values. Now again, obviously you guys could just go ahead and obviously count, I know. I'm just kind of wanted to, one, remind you of that. Um, so let's just kind of work this out, because I'm going to play off of this. So 5 minus 2, quantity squared. I'm sorry, I was doing the y's. So we have negative 3 minus 2, quantity squared, and plus 5 minus a negative 1, quantity squared. So negative 3 minus 2, you owe me $3. You borrow two more. That's a negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. And then 5 minus 1 is, or is going to be 6. 6 squared is 36. And therefore, we get the square root of 61. Right? So again, I did it a little bit longer way, but I'm doing that on purpose. Obviously, you could have just easily counted those sides and then squared them and added them together. Um, but I wanted to 